Let's get the rainfall forecast from Mai Rodriguez reporting from the Solar Weather Center. Mai? Hi, Pia. Tropical Storm Dindo is still bringing strong rains and winds to the northern part of the country. It's not expected to grow any stronger as it moves near landmass, but stormy weather should be felt over the extreme north, especially Batanes and Cagayan. Also prone to flash floods and landslides are the Ilocos provinces and the Cordillera region. Expect continuous downpours in these areas as again, rainfall spawned by Dindo will be heavy and intense tonight and tomorrow. Though Dindo will steadily move away from the country by tomorrow morning, maintaining a northwest track, it's still expected to bring rains as it interacts with a southwest monsoon. There will be frequent rains in Metro Manila as a result, also in southern Luzon and western Visayas. Some areas in Mindanao won't be spared. Flash floods may be a problem in Bukidnon, Maguindanao, as well as Cagayan de Oro and Iligan City, which are catch basins for rainwater. Rains will persist tomorrow in the zone, and as you can see, rain bands are still concentrated to the western sections, while the rest of Visayas and Mindanao will still stay overcast with scattered showers and thunderstorms. We see improved weather as we head to the weekend, but this huge mass of rain clouds will mean rainy weather still in western portions of the country, also for parts of Visayas and Mindanao. We'll also be on the lookout for another tropical cyclone which may enter the country by Sunday. This will be called Enteng, but for now, it's still a low-pressure area over the Caroline Islands near Micronesia. This could be a significant storm as it will gain power while surrounded by water. And since the area of formation, as you can see, is lower, there's a big chance it will make landfall. So, till the next weather update, remember, always be informed and keep safe. Yeah.